Let's get to that first story. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Oh, boy. Jury wraps up first day of deliberations in Jussie Smollett's trial for alleged hoax hate crime. And it was funny. We were all sitting here and I pulled the story up and I yelled out, they didn't convict him. And then Ian was like, wait, what, really? And I'm like, no, no, no. I just mean immediately. Uh -huh. Like, I mean, like they actually went home for the day because yeah, I, I would have assumed it was going to be cut and dry. Justice Smollett, he did it. He staged a hoax hate crime. Lock him up. Throw away the key. I know Luke made a good point that he has six charges. So that's probably why they're taking so long. They got to figure out for each charge what's going on. Did they overcharge him? Have you guys been watching it? Has it been like bro broadcasted? It. No. no, but I've been watching the tweets, mm. people talking about what's going on. And I think in Chicago, they don't allow cameras. I've, I've reported from uh, juries, uh, from, from uh, courtroom proceedings in Chicago. You basically have to go in, listen, write stuff down, run out, and then tweet, and then run back in. Is it's, that a federal it, case? It is, right? No, yeah. it's state level. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's that's state. Federal. Well, that's state. also what you have to do in the for federal court proceedings. Right. And that's why a lot of people have been relying on Twitter and people's Twitter accounts to find out what's happening in the Ghislaine Maxwell case, which yeah, we're well, going to talk about, about in just that. a little bit. Right. Yeah, yeah. But for, for <laughs> this particular case, I mean, uh, there's a lot of charges. We're still waiting to see what they're going to deliberate on. Some people are saying that he was overcharged, but uh, obviously there's a lot of things weighing here. A lot of people are paying attention to this. Uh, and there's a lot of interesting news surrounding Don Lemon, who also is, is being accused of some very serious accusations and faces his own kind of trial uh, upcoming as well. But th this is the big part right here. In closing arguments, Special Prosecutor Dan Webb accused Smollett of lying under oath. Mm. He laid out six key pieces of evidence he said proved the actor planned the fake attack with the assistance of Bola and Ola Osandairo, two acquaintances from the show. He was hoping the Osandairo brothers would not cooperate with police. He got exposed, and now we're in a trial. That's 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 something. We, 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 were, we were all glued to the Rittenhouse trial. We know some of those people were up there lying. No one said anything about it, not even the defense. Now we have the prosecutor outright just being like, he's perjuring himself. Mm. So the prosecutor might actually bring perjury charges. What, what kind of hold. sentence is he facing if he's convicted on this? Well, I can't tell you. I'm not a lawyer. What I can say is it's uh, six counts of disorderly conduct, but they're, they're felonies. Mm. He's pleading not guilty. So I'll put it this way. Some people have said, dude's not going to get prison time for this because he's like a celebrity. He's rich. It's a first offense. It's a silly political thing. And I'm like, I don't know how much time he'll spend behind bars, if any, but he'll be a felon. He yeah. can't travel internationally anymore or huh. he'll struggle to. Can't own a gun, can't vote. Yeah. So that, that ends his career. That ends basically his life in a lot of ways. This is the kind of thing where you make a fake accusation and you're trying to frame somebody and you're trying to cause something bad happen to somebody else in general. Was there, was there like a victim here? The victim was what? Just him the trying horrible. himself. It was just him trying to get no, attention. No, right? no the, the victim was Trump supporters. Right. And, just and, in and, general. And Trump's character. Right. And it, it, it's, it's remarkable how many people just were willing to and wanted to believe that there were two big old Trump supporters downtown Chicago at 2 a.m., who saw the lone, you know, gay black actor from Empire and, and were using that against him. And it's just the, mo it's the most ridiculous story. And, 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 and nobody believes it, right? The funny thing is, when the story first comes out, people had a little bit of, of, of like, even, even I think a lot of people on the right were like, could that have happened? Like, that yeah. sounds like BS, but I want to see more, right? Then we we'll jump to conclusions. And then it was very obvious. I was like, oh, this dude staged the whole thing. Well, the corporate media was selling this lie like it was hotcakes. They loved this story. He was on ABC News being interviewed, crying on national television. The anchor was calling him a national hero. And everyone was making the points online, especially the blue check marked individuals, especially a lot of celebrities. If you don't believe this story, you're a racist. You're just as bad as the people who attacked him, which is absolutely freaking ridiculous. And uh, it took people just asking some questions like, hey, how did this... How did this really unfold? Because some of the details don't make sense here. The police started investigating it. And then there were some people in the media who probably had police sources that were tipping him off during this investigation that the police weren't believing him because the police had no reason to believe him. He didn't want to take a DNA test. He didn't want to hand over his cell phone. He didn't want to you know, bring forward evidence providing that he's innocent. And throughout this entire hearing, I don't think he did. I think his only defense that people are, are talking about that I have seen is that he has a personal lifestyle that includes doing things with, with other dudes. And, and that's, that's what he was saying his, on, on the stand. And I'm like, that's not an argument. That doesn't prove any thing that you want to prove here at all. 